I have Mr. Narciso Arguelles. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me here. Okay, so cutting edge ideas. You have your work in this exhibit. Correct. Tell, tell us about it. Well, you know, the issue that I deal with, um, I grew up in Tijuana, Mexico. So a lot of my artwork deals with issues that are important to Mexican people or Chicano people. Uh, so I have a series of photographs uh, along with a couple installation pieces. And the work deals with issues like cultural identity, uh, even an anthropological look at lowrider culture. This particular photograph here deals with immigration. Uh, especially with the economy the way it is today, I think a lot of times people want to blame the immigrant, never mind the two different wars that we're fighting or the debacle at Wall Street, but they want to blame the immigrant. So in this piece, uh, I have a young lady here who's Bolivian, and I wanted to talk about scapegoating illegal aliens. Even that term illegal alien uh, serves to uh, almost dehumanize people. So some of the work can be a little political. Sometimes it's a uh, celebration of culture. This one is uh, maybe an updated version of an old Aztec legend. Uh, the short name of these people is Popo and Ista. Okay. This is a, a old Aztec legend where you've probably seen it on the hood of lowrider cars, but they're in a Aztec garb. Uh, the legend is something similar to Romeo and Juliet, where the lovers think the other one is dead and they die. Um, and in Mexico, the legend goes that they became this, this mountain ridge. So I wanted to update it with a Native American lady and a Chicano lowrider guy. So people who might not um, know a lot about Mexican culture could even come and actually learn a lot from your exhibit. Yeah, that's one of the things I try to accomplish with my work is I serve to inform or celebrate culture. This photo here was taken in Tijuana. A lot of people are getting more familiar with uh, the Lucha Libre uh, wrestling. And these are, uh, this particular photograph is called Mas Gara. It's, it's kind of like a pun. The word for mask in Spanish is Mascara, uh, where we get the word mascara. But it literally means more face, mas cara. So I wanted to talk about cultural identity this way with uh, having more of an identity while hiding it at the same time. Perfect. And this exhibit opened um, earlier this month, last week? Correct. Last week, and uh, it's going to run into early December. Correct. So go check it out. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. And if you guys actually... He's a teacher, too, so <laughs> you can actually learn some lessons from this guy as well. Um, but go check it out. The gallery is located in Davis Hall on USAO's campus. You can go to usao.edu slash gallery for more information on all of it. Brent, back to you. Very cool. I like the luchador masks. Oh, thank you. That's very cool, yeah. Uh, I saw a couple of guys go Halloween costumes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Very cool. Thanks for coming on again, too, man. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, yeah, go to the MySpace page, usao.edu gallery, for more information as well. I want to go someplace.